In this video, I'll show you how to create a drawing activity for your students in Google Classroom. Here I am in my second grade math class, and I would like to assign a drawing activity. So I'll click here on Classwork, I'll click the Create button, and I want this to be an assignment. So I'll click on Assignment, I'll give it a name, Identifying Parallel Lines, I'll click to type some instructions. In the following drawing, circle all examples of shapes that have at least two parallel lines. So now how do I actually create the drawing activity for my students to do? Well, I have two options. Underneath the instructions, I can either add an existing drawing or I can create a new one from scratch. So I could click this Create button and skip all of these other options and go straight to Drawings. It would then create a brand new Google Drawing that's tied directly to this assignment. I could then name the drawing, and then I could create the teacher part of the drawing. I could just right click on the background, change the background to a color if I want to, it's not necessary. And then I could insert a variety of shapes, just click and drag to put those on the screen. I can adjust the weight of the lines if I want them to stand out more. And of course, I can change all of these colors. I could also insert images instead of shapes if I want to. But anyway, the idea is I get to design this drawing that the students will see. And then when the time comes for them to identify the shapes that have parallel lines, they'll be able to do that using this tool here. They'll be able to click and go to scribble and then circle or draw arrows pointing out the shapes that have parallel lines. I'm going to undo some of that and I'll just X out of this tab. And it looks like my Google Drawing is still untitled, but I know that I renamed it. But if you X out of it, and then go back in to edit the assignment, you'll see that it's renamed. So don't even worry about that. I would just leave it as unnamed. It'll change naturally on its own. Now the other thing you need to be aware of is this drop down over here. There's a button that you can click and it drops down with some options for you. The way it's set up right now, my students will be able to view my drawing, but that's it. I might want to change that so that students can view it and edit it. If I leave it this way, all of my students will be able to edit the file together, the same file, and it would affect my original. But if I don't want that, I could click to change it to this option here, make a copy for each student. So now every single student in my class will get their own copy of the parallel lines drawing that I made. They'll be able to add to it, circle things, draw arrows, and it doesn't affect anybody else's copy of the drawing. So that's one way to attach a drawing for your students to be able to add to, to be able to draw on themselves, and then submit as their assignment. I'm going to X out of that and show you the other method, and that is just click Add, and then go to Google Drive and select a pre-created Google Drawing, one that you've made in the past. So earlier, I made this Google Drawing, and I'll select it now and click Add. And the nice thing about doing it this way, about creating the drawing in advance, is that I can very easily reuse it over and over. I don't have to create it in the moment. I can create it in advance. And I still have those same options, so I can go down and click Make a Copy for Each Student. Just like with most assignments in Google Classroom, notice that I can go in and assign it to specific classes or just one class, to specific students. I can change the amount of points that it's worth or make it ungraded, and I can set a due date. If I want to, I can also assign it to a topic and I can create a rubric. If you want to learn more about creating rubrics in Google Classroom and also all of the other assignment options, please watch my other Google Classroom tutorials. But for now, I'm just going to click Assign, and then it wants me to double check and click Assign again. So I'll do that. It's assigning it to all of my students. And now I'm going to switch to my student account. And let's take a look now at this drawing assignment that I've created. So here I am in my student account in the same course. And in my stream, notice it says the teacher has posted a new assignment identifying parallel lines. And I can click on that to go to the assignment. It's also listed here in my classwork. If you recall, I added it to the Review of Numeracy Basics topic, and there it is. Either way, as the student, I can just click on it and View Assignment. There's the instructions. And now I'm just gonna double click here on my copy of the drawing, 
And as the student now, I can go in and circle all the shapes that have at least some parallel lines. Now to do that, it is kind of tricky. I have to click here on Select Line and go down and choose Scribble. As the student now, I can go in and circle all of the right answers. When I'm done, I can X out of it. It takes me back to my assignment. And if I want to get right back into the assignment, I can click on it again. It takes me right back in and my work is saved. So when I'm done and ready to turn this work in as a student, I can just X out of the tab with the drawing and then click Turn In. One attachment will be submitted. It will be my identifying parallel lines drawing. I click Turn In and it's turning it in. It's all done. I could unsubmit it if I want to change it, but let's say everything's good. Let's look now as the teacher. I can go into the classwork page, go to the assignment, and I can see that it's been turned in by one person. And I can click on that assignment, that drawing, to see exactly what the student drew. So this type of activity, a drawing activity or assignment, is a great kind of creative way to use Google Classroom. And I hope you'll be able to see other ways, other situations in which you could use Google Drawings within Google Classroom. Thanks for watching. I hope you found the tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, please click the bell next to the subscribe button so that you'll be notified whenever I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, become a supporter of mine through my Patreon account, and you'll see a link to that in the description below.